Alrighty, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Slackers Undercover video. I am your pilot for today, Mad Dog, and I'm bringing you a new game called Everspace. Well, new to me. <laughs> and don't forget guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And if you like what you saw at the end of the video, please hit that like button. And if you want to support us, please, please share the content, help us expand the Slackers universe. Alrighty guys, uh, you may notice that I don't have my webcam on, so I'm doing that on purpose so I can uh, uh, show y'all the full game, so we have this at some, at I think max, max, uh, let's see, epic, 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 yeah, everything's at epic, so wanted to give y'all the game as beautiful as it can be. As you can see, we haven't started yet. I just jumped in to tweak sound settings, but without further ado, let's get into it. Third person. Not inverted. <clears throat> Alright, let's get into it. I can't wait. Something's wait not right with me. I'm having memory loops. There was a dispute. I was standing in the way of their plans. I was restrained. Shot with something. Who is this? I managed to escape. That's all I can remember. I must find some answers. Lost our memory, have we? Oh yeah. Pilot requires further training. Activating automatic assistance. Stand by. Uh, assistance? I suppose I could use some pointers. Okay. There's reverse. Go forward with trigger. Oh, it's trigger. Backwards with this. Turn left and right, look up and down, got it, straight with the left controller. That's interesting that the spaceship can move like that. Let's see, straight with left and right. Oh, up and down is hover. Oh, they mean hover like vertically. Okay, gotcha. Let's try to get to this checkpoint. Ah, oh, this game looks so beautiful. So looking forward to this. Oh. Two barrel. Did we just get here? Let's begin by shooting targets. Well, that seems easy enough. Is way too close. He's back up. The next targets have shields. First, use the pulse laser to deplete their shields. Okay. When the shields are down, use the Gatling gun to inflict greater hull damage. Yeah. Okay. It. Understood. Sorry if any of y'all get dizzy from this. Missiles on the next targets. Ooh, yeah. Set a target lock before shooting so the missiles can home in. Okay. Uh, push right to lock. And then R to do that. Got it. Got it. Okay. It Maybe appears enough. as if you're ready for the next stage. I have created a jump target. Aim towards it and hold steady to leave the orbit. After each transit, your jump drive requires a cooling down phase. As soon as it is ready for another jump, I will create one. Okay. Is 
marker is the jump. Okay, there's the green marker. I didn't see that at first. Oh, light speed. I love it. Um, let's go down. I like to keep my options open. We'll go to the center point and then choose to go back left and then right or whatever. All right. <clears throat> oh, I've been looking forward to this game. Whoa, lots of debris here. As you can see from your fuel gauge, a substantial amount was consumed during transit. You should oh, okay. aim to refill Top the jump right drive right completely. There is a mineable asteroid nearby. Shoot at it to extract fuel. Got it. Shoot rocks to get fuel. I guess using this booster doesn't uh, deplete my. Ooh! That should do it. Remaining yes. well provisioned is key to survival in the cluster. Before leaving the orbit, it is recommended you explore the location for resources. Oh, almost crashed into that. Oh, if you click in the right thumbstick, you can. I have located a container at some distance. Do I shoot it? Ah, resources. And a weapon. But you don't have a free slot to install it. Decide for yourself whether you want to equip or salvage it. Uh, open the inventory menu with that. You can drop or salvage equipment there. You can also press A when... Thanks to floating equipment that can't be picked up to open a, con open a compare menu and swap or dismantle. Oh, okay. Okay. So let's see. Powerful energy beam that deals a constant high amounts of both hull and shield damage. Perfect tool to quickly destroy weaker drones. Alright. Full DPS 48 is second. Shield 48 is second. Okay, energy consumption is 5. Oh, it's less energy consumption. Ooh, less range though. That's not too bad on the spread there. That's why we were to switch to our, our other gun. Oh, it takes out shields so much quicker, though. Hmm. I guess we could replace it with this, but... Oh no, hull damage, 80. Even the shield DPS, or DPS is still better. Decisions. Mm. We'll go ahead and salvage it. Let's see. Salvage beam laser. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to make sure it didn't do the pulse laser. Salvage! Done. There is an outlaw ship incoming. I would advise activating your weapon overdrive in order to prepare for the encounter. Oh. Oops. Press X. Okay, switch between. This will enhance your weapon damage considerably. Okay. I like the sound of that. Oh, <laughs> we crashed into him. That's funny. Resources are essential for crafting and upgrading Ooh. your equipment. It appears, however, that we have exhausted our possibilities here. I suggest advancing to the next location. Okay. 
Sorry guys, I'm new to the game, so forgive me if I make a mistake or two. I guess I could have locked- oh, I forgot, I could have locked onto him and then shot him with a missile. Uh, yeah, let's go there next. Sure, why not? <laughs> What's my objective? Reaching your destination. And where is that? It's still a long way to go. You will understand more when we get there. I would prefer some more substance to your answers. Boosting, firing, firing weapons and using devices consumes energy. Pay attention to the energy bar below the crosshairs. It might be smart to wait for the energy to recharge before going into the next fight. Bring your ship to a full stop in order to increase the recharge speed. Oh, okay. Oh, God. It appears we have stumbled upon an outlaw base. Scavengers and raiders of every degree ply the demilitarized zone using these hidden structures to launch operations. I would advise caution on approach. Maybe it's worth the risk. Okay. Uh, there we go. Calm down. So we attack this. they start firing at us do you yeah. reckon there's anything salvageable on this freighter probably but I would not advise it as it may draw unwanted attention hmm in the direct vicinity will react negatively if you attack Ooh. one. I can see that now, thanks. <laughs> uh, your ship is heavily damaged. You may consider boosting out of combat situations. Open the... Oh my goodness, fail. <laughs> Back to hangar. Oh, okay. Buying certain perks will also unlock new ones. Da, 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 da. Awesome. Um. Oh, that one's cool. Jeez, that one does not have very device slots though is three. Six seconds. Why would you Why would you buy that one? Pass the swift, okay. cool. That one has a lot of all points. But no shield. Ah, I got it. It's all armor and no shield. Two and two. Nice. I like the look of that one. Alright. Um. Ooh. I like that one. Yeah. Alright. Let's see. What do we have for this one? Only one primary weapon, though. Darn. Two secondary weapons. Eh. Okay. That 
That one's not bad. Which is this one? Or do I have this one? Yeah, it doesn't... I think I could just use this one. Already. Yeah, let's, let's check out the perks real quick. Uh, let's see, increase your global critical hit, chance for all primary weapons. How much will it go up by? Map, adds additional information to sector map. Okay. That's probably a useful one to get. Loot. Oh, there's the next level thing. Okay. Zero point five. Yeah, that's not a lot. Damage and repair. Ooh, that's probably a good one. This one damage. Okay, it decreases the potential uh, or decreases the probability of ship component damage. Okay, that's nice. Oh, and there's actually. Increases your ship's hull points. Unlocks max speed. Ooh. Might want to do that one. I think we have enough to do both, so let's go ahead and do that. And that. Got 300 left. Could afford for 300. Unlocks consumable spots, unlocks secondary weapon slots. Oh, okay. Apparently three, I would get four. That'd be cool. Uh, what else do we have here? Increases the max speed of your ship. That would be nice, uh, but it would have required all my money. Increased speed of hacking. Oh, that must have been something else they were going to teach us before I accidentally killed myself. <laughs> Okay, increases the number of modifications that can be installed. Got it. <clears throat> unlocks consumable slots and unlocks secondary weapon slots. Got it. I think the map thing would be the next best thing. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Modifications. Let's see. Ooh, 6,000. Status. <laughs> I didn't even get any of that stuff done. Number of runs, one. Alright, let's go to setup and see what we got on this ship. Oh, we can do the colors, yes! How do we... Oh, okay, select. There we go. Yeah, we like the darker color. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. Oh, these ones change it completely. Ooh, I like that one. Why does it keep... Oh, I guess you can use the left thumbstick to also uh, change it. <laughs> Got it. <clears throat> Let's go and do that one. Yeah. We got lightning gun and 
Corrosive missile? Nice. Shield EMP generator? Huh. Let's launch this one. <clears throat> the way you're meant to die. <laughs> I think we were on normal before. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> this time. This time I'll make it. Closer, isn't he? Yep. What's this mining outfit I'm registering? Brady and Brandt Prospects, corporate BMOF and sole legitimate operator in the demilitarized zone. Their monopoly has ensured unchecked expansion. You will encounter their jump gates and mining drones frequently. Nice. Charger shield too. Okay. Ah. Uh, iron key ship component is damaged. It is recommended you fix it before your next Ooh, encounter. No. If you say oh, so. we can get out of there. <laughs> oh goodness. Maybe we shouldn't attack that thing. <laughs> Not really too much. <laughs> Maybe we should switch back to the other one? <laughs> I did like that gun, but... Oh. What is this? The Hive. Human Interface Virtual Entity is a singular communication outlet of the incinerator system to which it belongs. It is a standard insta er, installation in all colony crafts and quarters. Okay, hive interfaces are created or oh, created, catered <clears throat> to its uh, recipients. Uh, adapting a person personality fitting to each attitude or projected relationship for the most efficient manner of communication. Oh, okay. Not all hives adapt in a uh, cooperative manner, although they rarely become hostile to its user as part of the hive has full access to the entire. Okay. However, we share what is permitted by rank or clearance its user. Which first shut down in case of dangerous conclusions drawn from this. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let us switch back to... Yeah, we're not doing too good. Uh, we earned a little bit more money. Uh, did we... Did these upgrades only go to the ship that we just bought? I want to see if it... The perks are still there. No. Oh, uh, those perks were only for the other ship. Darn. That means we have to buy it for this too. Let's go ahead and do this one too. Alright, let's launch it. Oh wait. Uh, can we escape? Because I wanted to... Nope, it won't let us. We gotta launch. Darn, I was gonna change the color scheme of this one. Oh well. Where are we? Where are we leaving? 
guess so. Oh, we're starting over again. Let's go here. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh my. There's a lot Outlaws. of people here. Independent operators with varying affiliations profiting from trafficking, extortion, illegal weapons trading, piracy, clone smuggling. Maybe they have something I need. We've got company. Yep. Lots of it. But just the one that I... Oh my goodness. Woo. Whoa. Jeez, they all came over here to fight me. Oh no, he ran into me and messed me up. I see you are improving. Getting the feel of things. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they're tearing me apart. Oh, uh, is there like no getting away from combat once you enter it? Yeah. Woo! Oh. Find something else to see if it would work. No, oh, they're gonna get me. Darn. Uh. <laughs> this is an episode of fails, guys. I am so sorry. <laughs> well, we may not be able to do much till we can actually uh, pay for some stuff. We have zero credits. So we didn't get anything from that. That one. I don't want to turn down the difficulty. We'll try one more time, and then if we still can't do it, we'll just have to switch to easy difficulty. Okay, let's have another go at this. Okay, let's go this way, because this guy's by himself. Oh! Sorry, I meant to lock on first before I shot that. I can do. That one's gonna be tough because there's two people. Ooh. Looks like they're getting fired at though. There is a chance that your attack will be reported, turning all GB units in the current location and next to one hostile your faction. Relation will reset if no new attack is reported in the next location or when the new sector is reached. Got it! Radiant drop to the broadcast told me that. an emergency signal. Sorry, I had no choice. It is best not to make new enemies unnecessarily. Credits and my scrap. I wish that stuff would just automatically come to me. That sucks that you have to go for More it. More credits. What shot me? Is that fuel station? Okay, guess so. Dock at this place? What's the point? 
Ooh, can we go in? Let's see. Nope. Alright. No? Okay. Wasn't sure if it would let me or not. <laughs> Okay, not sure what you do with that, but all right. Uh, I really want to attack that, but okay, that's what that was. I don't know if I can take that out. <clears throat> We've got a lot of missiles now, but. See if it'll. Ooh. I didn't see those guys. Oh, come on. back up. Is that what we were attacking? I thought it was closer than that. Yeah, I guess it was. I thought we were attacking a ship. Looks like a space station. Where the heck did the mineable ore? Ooh, yeah. Let's shoot that. You have extracted raw materials. These are essential for crafting and upgrading, but you will require much more. Equipment menu. See the items that can be modified, crafted from scratch. Indicates indicated by a small icon in the slots top right corner, select the new, or build new, or upgrade option. So, equipment menu, got it. Gonna make sure there's no more things in this rock. I think that was the only bit of it. That's cool. We could destroy the entire thing. All right, I need to figure out where this ship was I was attacking. Is that it? No. Maybe I was attacking that over there. Oh, that's so cool how the graphics work. All right. where I was at. What am I picking up on the broadcast channel here? The Okar are a reptilian race with a tendency towards reactive behavior. They are indigenous to the cluster and the colonials uninvited guests. Distrust runs deep. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh, we need to get out of here. This is bad. Well, we can't get up to max speed. Darn. Darn you. Why did so many have to come out? Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Darn, this is going to be a tough game. We got four kills in one sector. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
there's the kill count too, so you can keep track. <laughs> Alright, well we got some more money, let's go ahead and upgrade. Okay, we need to upgrade our energy, yeah, I think energy would be a good thing to upgrade next. And then the map. Why can't we upgrade the map? Oh, it costs us 400. That's why. That's why. Silly me. Damage. Can't afford that one either. Can't afford this one. I don't think we have any weapons, really, though, that we could. Yeah, why not? Alright. Enhancements. We don't have anything, right? Like that at all? No. Hmm. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry, guys. I'll get used to these controls in a minute. <laughs> the equipment menu. I guess you craft that during gameplay, I guess. <clears throat> blueprints. That's the only blueprints we have. Okay. What faction am I? <clears throat> okay, this is the reptilian race. I'm not even going to attempt to say their name because I'm going to butcher it. Let's see, several systems of the cluster, lizard-like species, they evolved from their dry desert homeworld and spread some... Oh, well, there you go. Oh, the neighboring plants, they are it's telepathic to a living degree, have natural divisions to water, okay. Go ahead and pause this and feel free to read any that you want. I'm not going to read all of it. If anything, I should probably... No, the codex isn't really like something that we need to read out anyway. I'm more interested with learning the game and all that. Let's launch this ship. And I said if I died again, I was going to... Go to easy mode. We probably need to run easy mode so we can uh, shield booster. We need to remember that we have those items too. They've locked onto me. Uh oh. What was the ones for this way? Too close to him, I can't lock on. All right, there we go. Finally got him. There was one more, wasn't there? It was nearby. I thought it was three of them shooting at me. Ooh, hello. Definitely getting blueprints. I'm not gonna waste those. We don't need fuel. Alright. Damage. 
damage booster. Let's go after this guy right here. He's by himself. Yeah, let's further. This game's so beautiful. Jump on me! Ooh. Nice. Well, we'd already killed him by the time I shot at him. Darn. Should've just waited for a second. <laughs> okay, we don't need the fuel. Let's go and head over here. See what we can find. A level of destruction is breathtaking. Hostilities only ceased when resources were exhausted, forcing both sides to the negotiating table. The demilitarized zone was created as a buffer zone, monitored by the Okar authorities. Only time will heal the rift between the species. Cool. Ah, uh, broken uh, spaceship in, in space. Let's fly through it. Why? Because we can. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Take for us here? No? Okay. Oh. Oh, we found something when we were in there. Whoops. Was it inside or outside? Ooh, it was up there. Could have just went through the side right there. <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> Let's see if this is materials right here. I think it says if it's a material. I thought. Not all asteroids are destructible. Got it. Starting to get the hang of the controls a little better. Oh, finally seeing something. Oh, that's just the fuel that I left behind. There's gotta be some materials here somewhere, right? It's just so cool that you can make things move by shooting at it. <laughs> hmm. I don't really see anywhere else to go, so let's just go ahead and warp to the next place. A few people and yeah, earn some money. Let's go middle because then we get multiple or not multiple but several choices. Well, if we don't attack those guys, they'll leave us alone. <clears throat>
There we go. Guys, Result. Those are those guys. I'll leave them be. Oh, credits and energy injector. I will take you. Credits are merely numbers to me. Oh. Let's see. Uh, instantly add a small amount of energy to your core. Oh no. Effect plus 50? I think we ought to swap. Yeah. Go ahead and swap it. Oh. Where'd the other thing go? They just ejected out? No? Whoops. Well. <laughs> Missiles, now rifle is its big brother, but fast and more lightweight. Be ready, yada yada yada. Uh, salvage. Salvage, yes, because we're full up still. <laughs> Anything down here? Hello. Device changer. Instantly resets all active devices' cooldowns, making them available for use. Ooh! <clears throat> Instantly adds a small amount of energy. This one is better, actually. Yeah. I think I would rather have that instantly, uh... Salvage the injector, yes. Nice. Oh no! That's not what I wanted! Ooh! I'm not expecting that to do that. Thank you for your fuel. I thought it was going to, uh... Alright. Oh, we still have our shield booster, so... Wait, what? I'm confused here. Let's see... No, this isn't where you go. Action freeze? Be good to see the game. Nope. You push that one? Yes, there we go. Equipment. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. I did keep it. What do you use consumables again? Let's see. Anything? Any 
need to destroy six more outlaw ships. Got it. Okay. Count as a. No, it doesn't. You gotta destroy the ship ships. Got it. I got it. You are acquiring a taste for cast offs by the looks of things. Okay. What are you? Damage booster. Yeah, we'll salvage that one. Yep. Yeah. That is no use to me. Fire! Fire! Whoa. Let's reverse a little bit. Need more fuel? No? Alright. Let's keep going. Any more turrets? Anything? No? Alright, well thank you for your stuff. I appreciate it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> see any other enemies so you know what Ooh. this will enhance your weapon damage considerably I like the sound of that looking for earlier. Mineable crystal. Automatically can you come attack me? Some Okars just jumped in. I recommend evasive moves. You saying I should run from a fight? It's all the same to me. But we might get to our destination sooner if you know when to bow out. Oh! 
Okay, I'm out. See ya. <laughs> didn't die for once. Look at all those credits. Yes! <clears throat> hmm. Middle or up? Well, let me go back, huh? Alright. Go front. We need the Gradient Brunt units must have received the emergency call. Meaning what? They will attack you on sight. So try not to get too close. We're low on missiles because I panicked. <laughs> Still a little laggy. How did Gradient Brunt manage to get the only contract in the DMZ? They were first on the scene due to their extensive jump gate infrastructure. So far as their monopoly is concerned, their close working relationship with the Colonial Fleet was undoubtedly a factor. That showed him. Yeah. Take that. You space pirate, you. Mad Dog is the only space pirate here. Yes. These are glowing for a reason, right? Nice. There we go. Alright, so now I know those contain gas. Got it. I guess maybe only the glowy ones? Let's see. Energy takes too long to recharge sometimes, jeez. There we go. Ooh. Alright, now where did that thing go that I just saw? A direct yeah. monetary reward for your endeavors. <clears throat> to go that far past it. Let's see. Target accelerator MK2 reduces your current your currently locked target speed by a certain percentage, making them an easier hit. Oh. Hmm. Passive device, active device. That's a passive device, too. Yeah, let's swap it for the... 
15%. Yeah, I think I'd rather be able to hit them. Would be more beneficial. Oh, no, no, no. Pencil. Swap. Now. Salvage weapon overdrive. Yep. Salvage that. Awesome. Alright. Add some gas right there. What's in here? Okay. Nope, it's on the other side, huh? Where you at? There you are. No gas. Um... There we go. Plenty of fuel now. Plenty of fuel. Did I get it all? I guess it did. It's just it did that because we're at the limit. Okay, I understand. All right, let's see if there's any more crystal or anything, and then we're out of here. I swear there were some other materials or crystals or something. There's nothing near this. Old wreckage. No. Inside now. Oh, Ooh, that looks like an outlaw base over there. Something over there. Might of a war, yes. Let's get that. Now we're starting to find all the stuff. Look at this a little bit. We're fully mine. Oh, okay, got it. So we don't waste our time, it lets us know. Okay. That's cool of you. How close are you? 3.6. What is going in? Oh, those guys. Those guys kick my butt. Let's just go ahead and get going. <clears throat> Alright, we're starting to get the hang of the game finally, guys. Let's get into this next one. Oh, we've been playing for a full hour. <clears throat> After this area, I will be... You'll have me reach the final location of this sector, fly through the gate. In order to go to the next sector, you won't be needing any fuel for the job. Got it! What happened here? What you see around you is the remnants of the conflict between the Colonials and the Oka. First contact led to an escalating series of misunderstandings. Let's just put it at that. I see. Oh, 
fight the outlaws real quick. What else can you tell me about this end of the galaxy? Cluster 34, also known as the Beltagrades. A group of systems approximately 1,000 light years from the Sol system. Mapped to precision in the 24th century, but unexplored by colonials until the 30th. Demarcation lines between colonial and native Okar interests are still in dispute. Is that a trading ship? Apparently so. Quite fortuitous to encounter one in these parts. About time. What do we do here? Drive into this? Great items. Nice. You receive five gel, you give them four compound. Got it. Money scrap for more money. I like that. Trade. Room compound for six pies or six power cells. I think I like that trade too. Alright, that's it. Alright, anything else? Dark matter. I'm not sure what that is, so let's go ahead and get some. Do we even need to mine it? Nope. I saw another blue circle somewhere. Let's see. Crystal, yes. Guys, almost done. I know it was a long episode, but there was a lot of stuff to explore and uh, see how this game worked. Okay, crystal and scrap up here. Nice. Alright. Go through the gate now. Yeah, sure, why not? Wait, what's that over there? Oh, no. You said we weren't going to fight them, so... Just fly into it, huh? Okay, there we go. That's how it works. Strange. Fragments of memories. Trying to make sense of them. I had managed to escape. I was weak and ill. My cells were deteriorating. A deadly poison. A cytotoxin. A slow, relentless, eating me away. Doesn't wow. sound fun. There was a way to halt its progress, but it would take time. All I could do was set the wheels in motion. And await the outcome in stasis. Oh. A long, uncertain sleep. Interesting. <laughs> Unlocked achievement again. I saw myself again. Dying. This must be a memory from your original. Apparently a flaw in the transference protocol. The Eterna system was meant to filter such personal recollections. Wait, what are you saying? My original? I'm a... A clone, yes. Usually this is not realized by limited-use copies. 
The function of Eterna was to pass on operational skills, such as piloting. But it seems that something has gone wrong here. Stop. This is a lot to take on board all at once. Why is this happening? Who am I? Who is my original? I have no information on that. Perhaps there is a purpose to this aberration which will become clear upon reaching the coordinates given. I have no answers, unfortunately. But I am as curious as you are. <laughs> Thank you, machine. Thank you. Missiles could definitely get those credits. Ooh, what's that up there? Wait. Hello. <gasps> yes. I like that thing. Uh let's see. Forty-five a second. Nice. 52. Not quite as good as the getting down the shields, but. Okay. It's a continuous bolt of light lighting that arcs over to additional targets and deals 50% of the damage to them. Oh, so this hits multiple people. That's really cool. Ooh, decisions, decisions. That's still 80. What is the range on this? Ah, uh, severely, severely. Oh, the range on the Gatling sucks. Interesting. Uh, I really liked it that more. Hmm. Energy consumption's better on the lasers. Darn, I like that weapon though. Uh, what to get rid of? What to get rid of? We have to get rid of the laser if we're gonna do anything. You know what? Screw it. We're swapping. I know it's probably a bad decision, but salvage it. It's done. Nice. And we got some blueprints. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Nice. Oh, there's the mineable resources we were going after. Fully mined. Nice. Thank you. And what's over here? Another one, yes. Alright. I love that gun so much, that's so cool. Oh, and something down here. Anything else? Hey, if he doesn't fire at me, I'm not gonna fire at him, so. Let's see if there's anything in this scrap pile, and then I'll call the episode there, folks. There's something in there. I'm just not sure what that is exactly. It's like a mine or something. Oh, there's several things in there. How do we get in there? How do we get in there to get that stuff? Go through the front. 
right here? have flickering oh. lights so you can see them. Can it be any more obvious? <laughs> Thank you for telling me that after I flew over there. <laughs> I got destroyed. Oh my goodness. Well, we got one additional sector, so let's let's see what we can upgrade on our ship now. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is funny. Energy regeneration. Oh, definitely. Gee, I think I'll buy that twice. <clears throat> yeah. And buying one of these is not a bad idea either. Upgrade the hole even more. I agree. I think these should be our main <clears throat> points of upgrade right here. Oh yeah, I forgot. I hadn't unlocked this yet either. Darn. Next time we get 400, I need to do that. So, alrighty guys. Well, uh, so far, so good. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely enjoying myself in this game. It is hard, but I think it's just one of those games where when you first start out, it's just always hard. So, alrighty guys, thank you for joining me. This is Mad Dog signing off. We'll see you next time, Slacker Underground. Bye. Oh, oh.